In this video, we're going to reassemble the High Point Firearms Carbine 45 caliber model 4595. Okay, so now we're going to start the reassembly process. So first we're going to start with a breech block. All right, we're going to install the firing pin and spring and the retainer into the breech block. So first we want to roll the firing pin to look for any wobble in the pin. You want to make sure this is not bent. If it is bent at all, you want to replace that. First, what we're going to do is stand the breech block up like this, drop the firing pin right in, in there like that. Make sure you have both springs in there, the inner spring and the outer spring. Drop that in as well. Retainer goes in this way. And now you can set that aside. Okay, so now we're going to put these pieces back together. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put one single drop on a patch of oil. And I'm just going to gently wipe down some of these pieces with the one drop. Just to make sure they're not completely dry. Teeny tiny bit of lube goes a long way. Alright, so now we want to put together the frame and the uh, trigger components here. So first we want to take the counterweight and put this together. This goes in like that. Kind of hold this up, right down in this slot right here. All right, so that sits down like that. Next, we want to take this is the sear cam. It's going to sit kind of like that. So we want to slide this in here like so. Push the trigger disconnect down underneath. To be underneath like that. That should move freely. All right, and then this, kind of hold this in with your thumb, because now we want to take the little spring, drop the little spring in there, kind of hold this up against the frame piece like this, make sure this is still underneath, hold that with your thumb, this goes in, in this orientation, this is the sear, that goes down in, now you want to get a hold of the sear cam, you want to line up this hole here, so press that down and that should pop right on there like that. Make sure the trigger disconnect is still underneath and moves back and forth like that freely. And make sure that the top, all these pieces are in just like that. All right, now you can set that down. Make sure nothing moves. Okay, and now take the recoil spring and guide rod. Slide that in. Okay, so now we want to put the breech bolt back onto the frame assembly. So one thing I find that is helpful is it's very important that this clip stays in place. So I put a wire tie through the hole there. And what that does is it keeps this clip from moving on you. So the circle in the clip needs to be lined up with the hole in the frame just like that. It's going to make it a little bit easier as you are going to be holding like three things at once. You want to feed this, feed this through here like this. I'm going to keep it at an angle. Keep an eye on this recoil spring so it doesn't bend downward and it doesn't come out between here. So you want to keep this up tight against the barrel like that. And what I do is kind of push it along with my thumb like that so it kind of ends up in this position. Once it's passed here, I'm going to grab this to keep it from sliding back. So we want to bring this back. What you want to be very careful of is the firing pin in there. If that firing pin is poking out, you need to make sure you bring this back far enough that when you move it down, you don't bend that firing pin. So bring it all the way back. So there's a gap here. Slide it down right into that hole. And now you can gently release the tension on the spring until it closes up like that. Now that you're good there, making sure that this retaining pin came through the hole. And then now you can remove the wire tie. And we want to push this pin all the way back. You might need to tap it with a little hammer like that. And that's how that should look. This is the frame support. Slide this onto the barrel. Just like that. Make sure that this, this piece is sticking up and is locked in place by this retainer. Make sure it's not underneath. So it has to be to look just like that, right? And that's to keep these two pieces from coming apart. Next, we're going to take the stock. We're going to drop, drop the firing assembly into the stock, holding it together, turn it upside down, get this clip this way with the little lip facing up like that. 
take something plastic, it's not gonna damage anything, and use that to push that into place, like that. Okay. All right, next we're going to put the receiver shroud back on. Now we didn't really clean this in the video, so now might be a good time just to wipe it down. It's gonna go on like this, making sure that this tab goes underneath. It's gonna go like that. And make sure these clips are rotated clockwise. So you have a clear hole to put the pins through. Take your two shroud pins and push them through this side. Put pressure on it from the other side to have it stick out as far as possible. And then using the tool, I'm going to go counterclockwise, lock it in place just like that. The same on the front clip. Push it through. Next, we're going to put the fore end cover back on. And then bring this clip down to lock it in place. All right, next, you want to get your 564th Allen key and replace the front sight. And you're going to want to kind of line that up with the rear sight. And you're going to want to take it to the range to make sure the front sight is aligned. Now, we're going to put the charging handle back in place. Screw that in. Get it nice and snug with your tool. All right, so now your high point carbine is now completely reassembled and very important at this point to do a quick function check. I'll make another video just with a function check. If you found this video useful, please hit like below and please subscribe and thanks for watching.